Hello, everybody, and welcome to Space Engineers, or since I'm playing it, Idiot in Space! Yes, that'll work. That'll work great. So what is Space Engineers? Well, it's a game. It's an early access game that you can get on Steam right now for about 20 bucks, or you can get it three for or four for the price of three if you want to buy it for you and a couple of friends. Since it does have... Uh, does it say it in here? It should... Okay, I don't know where it says it. I saw it somewhere. I think I might just see it on the store page. But uh, it has dedicated servers and crap like that. So it's like full multiplayer. And from what I'm hearing... I've never actually seen this. But from what I'm hearing, apparently some of the multiplayer servers are actually really fucking awesome. Because they have like dozens and dozens of people on it. I have no idea. I've never actually connected to one. I've never seen one before. I just... I've played it single player and I've been watching... A couple of videos of others playing it um so it's an early access game and because it's an early access game we have to run it through the nerd cube test is it worth the money now since right now is all you're guaranteed to get yes yes i would say that this is definitely worthwhile and my cats are knocking crap over they're playing again but i'd say it's definitely worthwhile buying this game um but this isn't a review video. This is actually the start of a series that I want to do. Uh, I guess that depends on how good or how it plays out in the views. Um, and as you can see, there's a lot of, like in the background here, there's a lot of crashing and explosions and crap like that. And yeah, you can play it that way. And it's kind of fun. Uh, so let us, I'm actually going to start a new world. I'm going to create a custom world. You start out where you have a bunch of different choices for different scenarios you can get in. Uh, we have an asteroid platform with one large ship and two small ships. Uh, let's see. We have a green asteroid station with several large ships and small ships. Um, probably, yeah, it looks kind of intense on performance. Uh, we have just, we start on an abandoned asteroid platform with no ships. And we have to start from scratch. Uh, we have a crashed red ship that apparently we have to fix. We have two pla two platforms for two team multiplayer. Uh, we have a sm very small rescue ship starts in an asteroid field, and then just empty world is just nothingness except you for creative worlds that kind of thing. Uh, you know what? Just for the fun of this series, I'm gonna start an alone survival world, and then I can make my own ships that kind of thing. Now, you can't start on, like, an empty world and play survival mode because you can't craft things. This isn't like Minecraft where you can punch trees and that's it. You kind of have to start with a certain amount of things or you cannot play the game. Uh, I like the title, Lone Survivor, but it doesn't work because there's actually other games called Lone Survivor. Um... There. <laughs> Lonely. Um, so I'm going to start there. We want to be on a survival world. Inventory size. Now, inventory size, assembler efficiency, and refinery speed. When it's set to realistic, it's the sizes are small and it's really, really slow. And that doesn't make for good videos because, you know, you spend an hour just standing there staring at the, you know, the, the, the refinery waiting for it to cook something. So I'm going to crank these up the whole way. That way we could just play the game. We don't have to worry about sitting there and waiting for things. Uh, online mode, I'm going to leave that offline. Max objects, this is for performance, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to leave that at default. Environment hostility. Now we can have asteroids and crap like that. Um, I'm going to set that to normal because the asteroids actually add a little bit of spice to the game. Because there's nothing like staring at the sun, watching the asteroids, and wondering if that one that happens to be heading straight for your head is going to be shot down or not. Uh, asteroid amount, leave that at normal. Auto healing off. Uh, show player names, I don't care. Thruster damage, yes. Cargo ships, yes. Enable spectator, no idea. That's probably a multiplayer thing. Weapons enabled, yes. Auto save, yes. Let us begin. Now, space I'm engineer. <clears throat> space engineers obviously are engineers in space, so it's a space physics type game. We and here I am, and if we hit V, we can see I'm in third person. And I just love little details that this thing puts in. 
like the crouching, just the movements in general. It's actually quite nice. Uh, all of the asteroids will be coming from there, uh, which is a big problem because the platform is right out in the open. And the platform can't be moved, so that kind of sucks. Uh, inventory, what do I got? I got just the regular stuff. Uh, I'm going to need to be mining crap, so I'm going to need all of my tools. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Assembler, reactor. Are you kidding? Man, they, they weren't kidding when they said start you off at bare minimum, man. What is that? Okay, that's the gravity generator. I don't have any storage whatsoever. <laughs> we have the refiner, we have an assembler, we have a reactor for power, we have a healing station, which is cool. We have a pilot station, which I can hop in. Can't do anything with. I can look around, though. Yeah. Uh, T. Ooh. Uh, so I guess I need to get my button gear. So let's grab my hand drill. Um, hang on a second. I hit. Th yep. Okay. Go to the go to the med med medical room and hit T, and you can bring up your Keller selection. I don't know why I do that, but I do that. X to fly. Turn on the jetpack. I'm really worried about these uh, asteroids. Uh, L. Oh, that didn't do diddly squat. Now did it? I have lights. They're doing something. It's just not a hell of a lot. Let's see, to do this, I have to. Oh, this uh, this this is actually gonna kind of suck. This is gonna be hard. Um, this is this is gonna be a little bit difficult, isn't it? I usually do this with uh, uh, the the ships. So this is the first time I'm actually doing this without a ship. I've never actually mined without a ship before. <laughs> oh, this is not going to make for good video. I might just mine a little bit and then come back. Because, yeah, this is this video right here is going to suck. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to mine a little bit, and then I'll be right back. Okay, my inventory is full. I managed to get a significant amount of iron and almost get lost in the cave that I created. Uh, I got some uranium as well, which is cool. Uranium is how you power pretty much everything. Um, nothing has tried to kill me yet. That's awesome. It's always cool, considering I have so much to build before I can even be safe from that. Uh, I have decided that the very first thing that I really need to build is a mining ship, because... Ooh. Ooh. Damn it. I was hoping the meteors were going to hold off at the beginning since I don't have anything to work with. Crap. Um, yeah, so uh, let's see if we can uh, get this going. Uh, as you can see, I've actually already started refining some of this stuff. And uh, yeah, that's that's really cool that it does go this fast that you can set those settings because then I'd have to, I, I don't have to sit there and twiddle my thumbs. Um, uh, let's see, control panel, reactor, 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 small reactor, use conveyor system on. All right, are you full? No. Why aren't you pulling any of the uranium? Because you're not connected. Oh, okay, I understand. All right, yeah. Bloop. All right, now I have five ingots. Let's see, how long do I have? I have 10 hours fuel time. Okay, uh, hopefully that'll be enough for a little while. Oh, it might help if I recharge. Hang on, recharging. Almost there. Done. Okay, so yeah, I've decided the very first thing I need to build is a mining ship because hand drilling, it, I, I didn't realize hand drilling was so glitchy. Um... So, yeah, that's definitely one of the first things I'm going to be doing. So, let's see. We got a lot of iron to play with. Probably not a lot of 
stuff I can build, though. I definitely need steel plates. Um, let's just make a bunch of those. Uh, I'll need a bunch of these. Uh, what do I need? Iron. So basically anything that's being made out of iron that can just be made out of iron, I'm just making out of iron. <laughs> I'm just making a whole bunch of it. Uh... See, that needs silver, and I don't have silver. That needs gold, and I don't have gold. That needs silicon. Oh, that needs silicon, too. I need to go mining for this stuff, but mining is such a giant pain in the butt. I didn't realize it was so glitchy. Uh, I kept losing iron. Iron would fall down. Like, the uh, gravity generator there affects the uh, asteroid here. Woo. And things would fall in there, and I'm like, oh, that's great then things will just pull at the bottom of the little hole that I'm making, and that way, you know, I just go grab it from there. Nope. Uh, it would pull, and then it would fall into the asteroid. So it would, cl like, clip through the asteroid, and I'd lose everything. Uh, let's see. Are we almost done yet? Almost. It's going pretty quick. It's definitely one of the reasons why I like how it... This... This is the this is the reason why I cranked everything up because it just takes too bloody long to do anything in this game. Oh wow, they take up a lot of space. All right, uh, let's see. G. I want a new small ship, and I need construction components to start it. Construction components over here. Oop. All right. Oh, we're saving. There it goes. Uh, yeah, well, let's just start you right here. Get out my welding torch. So I need a large steel tube and a motor. Boop, boop, boop. Large steel tube. Ah, shit. <laughs> and I need a motor, but I need gold to make motors. Don't I? What else do I need to make? Motors? Nickel and cobalt. So I don't need gold. I need cobalt and nickel. Ooh, that's a problem. Still have lots of iron, at least. That's awesome. A little bit of gravel, a little bit of uranium. Hmm. Uh, I have to go mining again. I don't want to go mining again because it's so glitchy. Maybe I should have created a world with the ships on it. Yeah, maybe I should have. Oh, well. I wanted to use the world I was using that I was just screwing around with. Um, it had uh, one of the big red ships. It had, like, three small ships. Come on, there we go. And I was enjoying the hell out of that one. Uh... Basically what happened, I, the reason, the main reason why I wanted to do that is because the red ship I was using as a shield, it was parked over there on the platform, but I moved it so it was covering the platform, so it was protecting the platform from the asteroids, and, uh, so I, 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 it got hit with an asteroid. I come out of mining. And I look over, and there's this gyroscope just floating through space. And I'm like, where the hell did that come from? And then I looked over, and the red ship wasn't floating above the platform anymore. It was on the platform. And I'm like, oh. So I flew around the red ship, and it was destroyed. One of the reactors got hit by an asteroid. And, uh, yeah, it got destroyed. So... Uh, blah, blah, blah. So I grabbed one of the little ships. One of the cute little ships. Okay, that's iron. That's uranium. I don't need any of that. I need cobalt and nickel. Magnesium. That might be useful for later. But not now. Uh, so I grabbed one of the other ships. I attached it to... Is this thing made entirely out of uranium? I think this entire asteroid is made out of uranium. Like the really dark stone there. That's uranium. Or I have a lighting glitch. 
which is a distinct possibility. Uh, yeah, I grabbed one of the smaller ships and lashed onto the red ship and then just towed it away from the platform. And I just kind of let it fl let it fly. Just let it float. And, uh, yeah. A little while later, I'm like, you know what? I could have really used the stuff that was in that red ship. I could have harvested it for parts. So I built another little tiny ship that was just mostly engine. What are you? You're iron. I'm surveying the asteroid. I'm looking for nickel and cobalt, and I'm not finding crap. Finding plenty of magnesium, though. That'll be useful later. And iron. That's useful pretty much universally. Uh, so I built a little tiny ship and went after the red ship. I latched onto the red ship and tried to pull it back. But it didn't work. I couldn't get it to work right. I'd go after the military escort, but I don't have the equipment to do that kind of thing right now. And right now I'm just looking for another close-by asteroid to fly to to see if I can get something good. Though that's going to be really difficult since I don't have much suit power. I, this, uh, yeah, this did not start out well. There we go. Uh, let's get some more suit power before I head out. So I tried to pull the red ship back towards the platform, but it wasn't working. The red ship's just too big to really change directions all that well. So I'm like, ah, oh, well, I probably need to make a big ship and all that fun crap to get the red ship back. But by that time, I wouldn't exactly need the parts on the red ship. So I'm like, eh, screw it. And I uh, went back to the platform and just started, you know, mining some more stuff. Aim, aim, aim. Inertial dampeners off and I'll just float there. At 62 meters per second. I know I can go faster. 104 meters per second, but yeah, screw it. So I flew back to the platform, started mining again. A little while later, I popped out of the hole that I was mining in. And I looked up to where the red ship was, and I went, I can see the red ship from here still. That's interesting. Most of the cool stuff is probably down there. Let's check out these little mini asteroids, see if there's anything in here. Probably just stone. And I'm like, oh, that's interesting. I could see the, the red ship from here. So I, f uh, I kept mining. Popped, back, popped my head back out of the hole I made and went, that red ship looks a lot closer. Eh, whatever. Went back mining. Popped my whole out, popped my head out of the hole a little while later and went, that red ship definitely is getting closer. That's interesting. What I had done uh, with the uh, my little tugboat ship that I made was uh, uh, pointed at the platform and fired my thrusters. I didn't think I was getting anywhere, but apparently I was. But I pointed it at the platform when I fired my thrusters. So we got plenty of gold. That looks like iron. Yeah, that's gold. That's iron. This stuff might be useful in the future. I have no gravity here. Mining's going to suck. And apparently there are caves. Ooh, silicon. I need silicon. Uh, yeah, mining's going to suck like this. Because I don't have any collectors. I don't have anything to collect this stuff, so I have to press and hold T while I'm mining and hopefully grab stuff. But as we can see, it's not working all that well. Yeah, so that's kind of why I wanted to do that world for this series was because... That ship was very, very slowly heading back towards me. And it would have been really cool to, like, look up one time and, uh, just have that there. It's like, oh crap, that ship is right there. I gotta do something about that. Uh, but... Its settings were set to have everything go really, really slow. So I couldn't, uh, do anything about that. I don't know how to change those settings. I don't know if you can change them in-game or anything like that. Yeah. 
This is kind of what I mean by it's glitchy. It's really hard to actually hit the rock. Like, every now and then you get close and it doesn't actually... The, the, the jackhammer doesn't hit the rock. Though, we seem to be mining pretty sweet, though. We seem to be going pretty good, mining-wise. Uh, I just can't wait till I can get a ship. I can make my own... Uh, drilling ship. Just mine the hell out of these asteroids. Kick the crap out of them. Go nuts. Uh, this is not going to be the greatest start of my series, I'll tell you that much. I am a little disappointed in myself that I did this. But, oh well. I mean, this is what it is. This is what I'm stuck with. And I could have started with an easier thing, but... Uh, space physics, aren't they fun? Could have started with an easier thing, but uh, that... In the long run, it won't be nearly as interesting. I mean, like, at start, when I start, it'll be a little grindy, but... You know, eventually, I'll, it'll be better off. Wow. I'm gonna get lost in here. Yeah. Uh... Crap? Oh, okay. <laughs> I found my way out. I was scared. I'm like, oh, crap. I can't get out of here. Uh, how much silicon do I have? I have... Four... Kilo... Or... Four ton... No, two ton. Yeah, two tons of silicon. Iron. Ooh, there was nickel in there. Crap. Hope Let's see if I can find some surface nickel. That way I can get my ass back to the platform when I start running out of power. And I don't have to be lost in a maze of mines. And lose all my crap, dying, all that fun stuff. Ooh, pretty. Very shiny. Is this all uranium? Or are these just all rocks? And, it, like, I'm getting a visual glitch or something. Because this is what uranium's supposed to look like, isn't it? Uh, that's more gold. Uh, that's just rock. That's iron. Come on, Nickel! Where are you, Nickel? I think that's iron. Yeah, that's iron. You have to get really close when you just have the jackhammer to find things. So it's really hard to find things. Mm. Maybe I will have to go after one of the... Uh... Ooh, what are you? You're something different. You are platinum! You might be useful. So getting you is going to be a pain in the butt. Because you're just going to go fly off into nothingness. And that looks like static. <laughs> or something from the Twilight Zone. You know how they did that weird visual effect? Um, every now and every once in a great while? Yeah, that's what it looks like. <laughs> I can't describe the visual effects outside of it looked like that. I don't know what they were doing with it, but... Eh. Ah, uh, well, this looks like it's going to be a slightly disappointing first episode of a series. I swear the next episode is going to be more interesting after I go mining for quite a while and I start building this little mini-ship. This would probably be easier with other people. I guess. Shouldn't the asteroids have gravity? Like, it would be a very small amount of gravity, but shouldn't the asteroids have some form of gravity? Something that, I mean, yeah, wouldn't the, the, the rocks that I cut off pull back towards the asteroid? Eventually, anyways? There's this epic music playing in the background. You probably can't hear it over, well, me talking. And I have the music turned way, way down. Where's the platform? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Yep, there's asteroids heading towards the platform. Crap, 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 crap. Yeah, that sucks. That does kind of suck. The asteroids always suck. 
since I don't have a turret, I don't even have anything built. I'm I just kind of yeah can't do anything to protect it. Let's see, is anything damaged? No. Good. The platform itself wasn't damaged anymore. I'm not missing any parts. That's always good. <sighs> so I got some silicon. That's cool. Don't care about the stone. I got iron, platinum, nickel. I doubt I got enough nickel. How much do I need for the motor? 0.5 of a nickel ingot. I might have enough. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have enough. That's awesome. Okay, so let us make... Oh, I still need cobalt. Crap, and I haven't found any cobalt yet. Oh, I was hoping I'd make something. So far, I've made half of a landing gear, and that's it. I hear that epic music again. Oh, but it's stopped now. Well then, I guess... All this music. You're scaring me, music! Because the epic mu music was there, I looked back at the platform and there's a freaking asteroid shower. Meteor shower. Come on, find me some bloody cobalt. Iron. Probably should recharge my suit. Let's, let's, let's do that. Where is the... Oh, there's a mining transport right there. It's still pretty far away, though. Yeah, I'll go after them later. Uh, after I build up my supplies a little bit. Come on, back to the platform. Back to the platform. Thank you. Boop. Yeah, I'll go after the mining ships and stuff like that later. <laughs> Once I get uh, an actual ship. Is what I can do. I could make a tugboat like ship again and then attach to the ships and bring them back. And I don't have to worry about them being booby trapped or anything like that. That would be kind of cool. There's uranium, iron. This asteroid is rich with uranium. I'm never going to run out of power, at least. That's cool. Yeah, I don't have to worry about power. I do have to worry about other supplies. Me. Cobalt, 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 cobalt. Where's the closest to you I can get? Right here. Right here's the closest I can get. Awesome. YouTube's going to hate this part of the video. So I'm going to dig for some cobalt. Here's the glitchy thing that I was telling you about, that it doesn't seem to work all that well. There's also, like, uh, uh, clipping errors, clipping glitches. Woo. Uh, I was screwing around, just playing around in a creative mode, creative world. I took the red ship, got it up to speed, pointed it at an asteroid, and then jumped out. Ugh. And watched it go through the asteroid. Like, directly through the asteroid. Yeah, here's that glitchy. Mining is a pain in the butt. Come on. I finally find cobalt. And I can't get to it because it's clipping errors. Is that cobalt? Pick up cobalt! Sweet! And that's just stuff. Ugh. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, and there was that thing. If you saw it, there was that thing. Yeah, right there. Where things were just falling through the asteroid. Like, some things fall through the asteroid, some things don't. It depends on where they fall. 
All right, how much did I get? Cobalt, 1.3K. That should be enough. I, I just want to finish this landing gear before I end the episode. <laughs> That's all I want to do. I just want to finish the landing gear. Uh, Cobalt. Yay! Now, what do I need to make? I need to make motors. And I should have enough now. And I do. Awesome. So I need this guy. Throw the stone in the refinery. I mean, it doesn't... You kind of need stone for some things. Uh, for the, the artificial mass blocks. But, oh, for the record, um, that landing gear is ready to go. I don't have to continue working it, but it's more, it's stronger, and it will survive more if you fill it up the whole way. So to make the landing gear, I just needed one construction component, one large steel tube, one motor, and that's it. The extra steel plate is just for extra reinforcement. I don't know if things like the thrusters make it more efficient or anything like that. I haven't noticed any difference, but yeah. All right, so I have... A landing gear. <laughs> I succeeded at something, and I didn't die. That's always good. That's that's always a really really good thing. My health is actually still hundred hmm. percent. Recharge. All right, so I'm gonna end the episode here after I've recorded for like an hour, and this is probably still gonna be a really short video with me just mining everything. And then what I'm going to do off camera, I'll go mining and get some more crap um, as much as I can get. And then in the next episode, I will actually build, I'll actually have enough crap to build this. Um, yeah, I should have went mining beforehand, but I didn't. I wanted to, I wanted to make the video, or I wanted to make the, I was going to say world, but uh, it's more of a solar system. Because it's around that sun, and it's an asteroid belt, kind of-ish, I think. And there are no planets. At least I don't think there are any planets. I haven't seen any. Yeah, I don't see any planets. It would be really cool if there were planets, but that would be huge. And that would take up a lot of uh, processing power. So that's probably why there aren't any planets. Uh, I think I saw pic I think I did see pictures with planets, but um, yeah, it's probably a mod to get a planet, or maybe it was just the skybox texture. Um, possibly, I don't know. But anyways, I'm gonna end the episode here before I ramble on anymore, which is standard for me. And I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, keep playing the game and have fun.